प्लेइंग जी टे फाइव फोर थाउजेंड फोर वॉच डॉक्स टू फोर थाउजेंड फाइव फोर्ट नाइट फ्री फायर वेलर एंड सी एस गो रेड डेड डेड अपन ऑल दीज गेम्स इन ए वेरी 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 चीप प्रोसेसर चीप मीन्स इन टर्म्स ऑफ प्राइस नॉट इन टर्म्स ऑफ परफॉर्मेंस सो द प्रोसेसर इज राइज एंड फाइव फिफ्टी सिक्स हंड्रेड जी प्रोसेसर यू कैन सी हियर दिस वन सो इट्स बीन टू मंथ्स यूजिंग दिस प्रोसेसर एंड आई एम केपेबल ऑफ गिविंग यू ए डिटेल्ड रिव्यू ऑफ दिस प्रोसेसर राइज एंड फाइव सिक्स हंड्रेड जी हैज सिक्स कोर्स ट्वेल्थ थ्रेड्स लाइक विच इज इन सेन फॉर द प्राइस सो इट्स बेस क्लॉक फ्रिक्वेंसी इज थ्री पॉइंट नाइन गिग हर्ट्स एंड मैक्स क्लॉक फ्रिक्वेंसी इज फोर पॉइंट फोर गिग हर्ट्स एंड वन सीक्रेट आई टेल यू गाइज कम हियर कम हियर You can overclock it to 4.7 gigahertz. Yes, 4.7 gigahertz. Its special feature is its iGPU. So, for those who don't know what is iGPU, iGPU is a integrated graphics processing unit. So, like it is also called as APU, accelerated processing unit. To tell it in a simple words, it has built-in graphics card. Without adding any external GPU, you can easily play games and you will get a display without adding any GPU, which is like good, right? For budget. So, this has 2 GB video memory and also you have an option of using shared memory. So, you can allocate 2 GB of extra RAM for this GPU. Then you will get 4 GB of VRAM. and this gpu is capable of playing all modern triple a games easily in 720p and 1080p setting so chain my t-shirt and another great feature of this processor is its overclocking capabilities guys like as i told you earlier you can overclock it to 4.7 gigahertz but you should have proper cooling then you can overclock it efficiently so now we'll run some benchmarks on this processor so we'll get to know the scores so in cinebench r23 10169 is a multi core score and 1405 is a single core score so if i want to give conclusion so if you are building a pc under 30000 or 50000 rupees you can use this processor because it will give you good fps in modern triple a games that too without stutter and all you can smoothly edit in this processor because six cores 12 threads no issues at all first thing is its cost is 14000 rupees like near my region it's 40000 rupees i don't know about yours probably that much i guess and the second thing is under 14000 rupees you are getting six cores 12 thread processor so why i am telling like this because one year ago the same processor's price was 22 to 25000 rupees now you are getting this processor for a very good deal so you can buy this processor so this processor has am4 socket so all am4 motherboards will support this processor you can do video editing you i did 4k editing 1080p editing you can do it smoothly 1080p editing you can add many layers of text and all it will run smoothly no issues no lags and in 4k a bit lag is there why because i am using this processor with 8 gb ram if you upgrade to 16 gb ram then it will be like super smooth it's all the ram factor guys so you can check out my computer buying vlog so i bought this computer so i did a vlog on it you can check it out it's in i button here or here but see it guys but after watching this video so best compatibility motherboard for this processor is go for b450m motherboard because this motherboard is not that much costly like it's around 5 to 6000 rupees like it is very very good for this processor so while playing games my cpu temperature will go till 70 degree celsius but in idle it will be around 40 to 45 degree celsius so that's a normal thing its stock cooler is efficient if you are not overclocking and if you are overclocking then air cooler obviously i'll tell you ram configuration guys go for 16 gb 3200 megahertz like 2 8 gb ram sticks of 3200 megahertz guys it will boost your game fps like anything guys because dual channel memory means more ram bandwidth so guys that's it for today and uh, that's my review of Ryzen 5 to 600g processor after 2 months meet you in my next video bye bye